Hey guys, Jessica Cabasi here. In today's video, we're going to be looking at how photographers edit their photos. But I thought instead of just editing their own photos, how would it be like if they were to edit someone else's? So we're really going to challenge how distinct their editing really is, and we're going to get their reactions on the edits to their photo. So let's go. I just want you to introduce yourself and tell me what type of photography you do. Uh, my name is, well you know my name though. You want me to introduce my name to, to you? Yeah. Okay. I'm Mark Singerman. <laughs> it's so awkward because I because I know you am. Yeah. I'm Daniel. I'm Rachel. And we are Mango Street and we create photography and filmmaking tutorials that don't waste your time. My name is Ryan Longnecker. I'm an outdoor travel and landscape photographer uh, based in LA. And yeah, that's what I do. Okay, so my name is Riley Taylor. Hello. Okay, and what kind of photography do you guys do? Let's just talk loudly into your yeah. shirt. Um. <laughs> I'm a portrait and lifestyle photographer in Los Angeles and New York. We um, shoot a wide variety of things from weddings to concerts to models to food, um, all kinds of stuff. I do a lot of outdoor work, but it's, it really tends to be sort of more bright, vivid, and Poppy. Like I'm more interested in like editorial, um, like fashion work, and I shoot a lot of film now. Tell me, how would you describe your editing style? Okay, my editing style. So I don't know really how to use Photoshop. So I use Lightroom, but I don't really retouch or anything. I just kind of adjust like the light levels, coloring, all that to like the way I want it. But I kind of keep it more like natural and less editing. Some people call it like a little desaturated, but really it's just um, maybe more muted tones while still keeping like a, a good amount of contrast and not, nothing too extreme really. We want it to like, if anything, we want it to like reflect how film might look because film itself is so timeless. Most people, I, I go off of what other people say. Usually people just say it's very colorful, it's very bright, very vivid. I don't have a specific word to describe it other than um, vibrant. I like really vibrant colors. I like really intense details and stuff. I like my photos to look like they're three-dimensional so, somewhat. Um, it, people call us Visco photographers all the time, even though we don't use Visco. I haven't used Visco in years. But. Yeah. <laughs> For a long time, it was really contrasty, and then I started to learn a lot more about color. And so it's, it's really focused on the color of a scene, and I think that that takes on a lot of different looks. Sometimes it's moodier, sometimes it's more vibrant, but it's really based on kind of light and color. Now I'm just going to show you guys how other people edited your photo. Uh, oh, fun. Yeah. Also nerve-wracking, kind of. This one. This okay. one. I'm nervous. I'm going to show you the edits that the other people did for your picture. Oh, shoot. Yeah. It's kind of cool to see, though, because no one's ever edited one of my photos. Okay. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, whoa, that's gnarly. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. It's like opening a Christmas present and you're yeah. like worried about your reaction being good enough. <laughs> so I feel like a lot of them are, um, they're pretty similar, except for this one that has like all these petals edited into it. Mark's photo? Yeah, Mark's photo. I don't even know how you do that. <laughs> it's cool, that's really cool. I wouldn't have, wow. He edited a shadow. <laughs> There's shadows on her. There's little shadows from the rose petals. He edited a shadow? Where? Here. You're alive. <laughs> oh my God. Good job, Mark. Good job. I don't even, like literally don't know how you do that. I'm a big fan of like Riley's sky. Mark's sky is like, he edited it in stars, which is really rad. And I was like, so it t definitely takes on like a surrealism, which is a part of his work, which is really cool. I don't ever get to see other people edit my pictures. And so it's so much fun. I think they all look good. <laughs> I 
Okay. What's interesting is like the, the hues of like the yellow and blue all kind of vary throughout. Yeah. I, I like Mark's. Well, I like the yellow in Mark's. I like the skin tone on Mark's. We'll always say like we shoot I very I feel like moody, ours is the least moodiest one in this whole entire Which is like thing. kind of funny. Yeah. Yeah, you can tell Jessica's right away is very editorial. Like you always look like it's, it would be in a magazine. Yeah. Yeah, this one was especially, I know it was a hard photo for us to edit. And it's like very much in our style, but just the colors and like the yellow from their jackets. Uh, so it's like kind of interesting to see how other people approach it. Great. I think they did a good job. For Riley's, did you crop it that way? Like you cropped in on it? Yeah. Yeah, because that's the first thing that I noticed is because that one's like so close up, it definitely grabs your eye for yeah. sure because you're looking right at it. Oh, that's interesting. Someone did orange. Cool. Jessica, you hated this, huh? Why did you hate this one? What was so bad? What was so bad for you? Like, why did you not like? Why was it the hardest one? It was the colors were literally everywhere. We need to talk <laughs> about the rose petals because I mean, that like added a lot to it. Like, it gave it more depth and like made it more interesting. And like your attention to detail, like the shadows and the shoe <laughs> and the shoe mm -hmm. which was the hardest photo for you to edit and why um okay let me think marks, marks. <laughs> the um like the the lights one the, the, the yeah because that's not like <laughs> Ooh, gosh. they were all the, every photo is hard for me to edit i don't <laughs> and the blue the blue like <laughs> highlight on her cheek i couldn't get it to look good there was one of, there was a high fashion one of a, a girl in a chair or like with her leg kicked way high. I'm trying to remember whose that was. Riley's. Riley's, yeah. Probably the one where I added all the rose petals in just because it took so long and it was like really meticulous the way that I had to like to make it look believable. And I don't even know if I did that, so. <laughs> yeah, because I don't really shoot like that kind of stuff, like the, um, like nighttime, like fairy light. I don't, that's not really me. That was hard. That was difficult to kind of like bring up, out the brights, but like not have it too dark and not have it too contrasted and fix up the low light skin. Like, yeah, it was, that was difficult. Or like another hard thing about that photo was knowing when to be done with it because you could do so much with like playing with the color on that. But it is hard to know like when to stop editing, yeah. you know, so you could play around with it for a long time, but I spent probably like 20 minutes on it just playing around. Jessica's like, oh, 20 minutes is like a short edit for me. Oh. Not gonna lie, that's what I was thinking. But she's like really intense. Usually our edits take like one minute. Yeah. So. How do you feel about photographers sharing tips and tricks uh, with other people? Do you think that's important? I feel like it's so important. Like, especially when I was first learning, like I had no idea like where to even start and like learning all of these like editing apps was so difficult and like just watching like different tutorials and like talking to other photographers and like friends of mine who would be so open to show me like how to work those things. I feel like that was really important and really like inspiring as like a beginning photographer. Um, well, I do think that it's important to, to network with other people who are like you and you learn from other people and then you share with other people and then uh, they learn from you and you learn from them. So there's definitely that community aspect that I find really important. People who are like afraid of giving away their process or things like that, that's, it's, I understand the fear, but I honestly don't think it's as intimidating as they think it is. It's like if Picasso taught you how to like paint, you wouldn't paint Picasso paintings. So it's just, it's kind of an unnecessary fear in my opinion. And you're missing out on opportunities to meet lots of cool people. Editing is one of those things where you don't have to edit like us for, you know, like, it's so, it's very much like a creative thing. And it, as long as it fits in with your personal style, then just like, go for it. So the whole purpose of this video, I think, is to show that photographers should be able to share and get to know their community. I think it's very important. I know some of us can be very secretive and protective over our retouching tricks and editing process and stuff like that, but it's also important to help out others who are just beginning. I like to personally help out when I can because I didn't have anyone to help me when I was first starting out, so I like to be the person that I never had. So, be the change you wish to see in the world. <laughs>